All right. So let's uh, tell get our viewers uh, the very latest on the visuals that they are seeing right now on the television screen. Well, this is the Mumbai Sessions Court uh, where Salman Khan is right now. Now, what we are getting to know is that the copy of the order has in fact reached the Sessions Court. Uh, there would be some paperwork involved and then Salman Khan would be making his way out of the Sessions Court from this particular entrance. This is the back of the Sessions Court. Salman Khan, uh, uh, car and his cavalcade is parked there. He'd be taken home for just for 48 hours and then he would be back in court on Friday where his bail plea comes up for hearing. Uh, I want to cut across to our battery of reporters who are getting us the very latest, the vantage position on this developing story. Ankit Tyagi is right now at the session. Scott, Ankit, um, what is the latest that you're getting in? We do know that the copy of the order has uh, uh, got in where the session court is concerned from the High Court. Now what? Uh, how much time before Salman Khan leaves the session court to go home for this 48-hour reprieve? Well, now the registrar, in fact, uh, will execute uh, this order. So there is a bail bond that uh, Salman Khan uh, needs to sign this. So there is, it's a lengthy process. There are many papers that he will have to sign. So a team of two lawyers, uh, both from Salman Khan's side, they are, in fact, preparing the bail bond. They are uh, making sure that uh, every uh, everything is uh, the legally in order. And post that, after signing all these documents, Salman Khan would be able to get off uh, from this court. Uh, he's on the fifth floor of the co of the session's court as of now. And then he will come down and and uh, on the gate, on the back gate, uh, gate number two of uh, uh, the session court uh, here in Greater Mumbai, uh, the, his cavalcade is already on the gate. So they are just uh, waiting for this legal process to get over so that Salman Khan can be taken home. Uh, and uh, as of now, Preeti, what we have been told is that uh, though the copy has reached, but uh, now it will be brought to the registrar. There will be certain, uh, you know, uh, documents that he will have to sign. So there will be certain documents that will be prepared. A two-team, uh, a two-member team of uh, Salman Khan is as of now preparing all these legal documents so that he can quickly sign them and he can go off. There are still inside both his sisters, his brother Arbaz Khan. There are other few film stars, those who are inside uh, waiting for Salman Khan uh, to get done with these legal legalities so that he can be taken home. But I can very safely tell you that uh, uh, I started my day before him. I would be ending it after him and Salman Khan uh, would be very safely home uh, by the time I'm done with my day, Preeti. Well, you're right there and you know that's where the irony lies. It's been uh, 13 years. 13 years Salman Khan uh, has been fighting this case. This case has been going on for that much time and it took three hours for the judgment to be delivered, the quantum of sentence and of course bail, at least even though it is uh, interim bail that has been granted to Salman Khan, three hours, uh, it's all been done. Um, Ankit, you know, just break it down for the benefit of our viewers. It does seem that uh, Salman Khan's crack team of lawyers has done a stellar job in being prepared and getting him bail even hours after the quantum of sentence was announced. And what are we looking at come Friday? Absolutely. You're bang on there uh, as far as the team of lawyers is concerned. And look at the preparation that was done. Uh, Harish Salve was on standby. They, even before they knew what the verdict of the court was, they had already prepared their plan B, the papers were already prepared and they were absolutely on the go as, as soon as the verdict was announced. When Salman Khan was uh, pronounced guilty by uh, Judge uh, uh, D.W. Deshpande, one of his lawyer's team was already in the process of preparing papers with different scenarios in terms of what uh, uh, the quantum of sentence uh, would be. As soon as the quantum of sentence uh, was argued and was announced by the judge, our team of lawyers they were just waiting for the operative part of that quantum of sentence because uh, uh, the entire judgment was we were told would be given at five o'clock and five o'clock is when the high court uh, proceedings the high court session gets over so at around four o'clock they listed it 4.30, uh, uh, the arguments uh, on this started. And who was arguing for it? Harish Salve. He right. was already flown down from Delhi. He was already ready uh, with his arguments. He went inside the court, said that you cannot send a person behind bars without the full, uh, the, without the full judgment so, uh, right. so that we cannot argue on it. The judge also agreed to that. You know, Ankit, uh, now that you're mentioning the arguments... May 8th, you know, Ankit, now that you're going into the arguments, uh, you know, stay on with me. Going to come right back to you in a minute's time. Just going to take our viewers through 
on how what transpired in the sessions caught today between the defense and the prosecution in terms of arguments. Uh, stay with me, we're going to be back with you, but let me just take our viewers through how the arguments uh, went. Well, the defense actually went out and stated that the accident was an act of God. The prosecution, on the other hand, defended saying Salman had full knowledge of what happened. He was inebriated. He got behind the wheel. The defense then said should not be sentenced more than three years to which the prosecution said want maximum sentence of 10 years for Salman Khan. Of course, Salman Khan was given a five-year term under culpable homicide not amounting to murder. Well, the defense then said Salman has a heart condition, has suffered trial as an ordinary citizen for the last 13 years. Prosecution said sentencing should be done immediately. The defense says Salman has launched various charity initiatives, being human, uh, being one of them. The prosecution said, defended on that, that charity should not be considered on the crime that Salman Khan has done. He has done the crime. He should now do the time. Then, of course, the sessions caught the learned judge. The quantum of sentence was announced. Salman Khan was given five years of rigorous imprisonment under culpable homicide not amounting to murder. Of course, he has now got a two-day interim bail. His next bail plea comes up for hearing on Friday. Trust headlines today to get you the very latest.